55-year-old Derek Ragnott was the cousin-in-law of former Minister of Amerindian Affairs, Pauline Sokai, and lived in Mahaika, East Coast de Marara, before relocating to the British Virgin Islands. A close relative said she was informed that the roof of Ragnott's shop in Tortola caved in and killed him during the passage of the monster storm Hurricane Irma on September 9th. Minister Felix met with his family during a needs assessment visit to the island, and the request was made for the Guyana government to assist in repatriating the body to Guyana for burial. The Guyana government, on compassionate grounds, would have to consider the amount of help that can be given to repatriate the body and the close relatives um, for burial in Guyana. And um, that is where I stand right now. This is a situation deserving of all compassion. Well, the, the, I have some names of close relatives and other relatives. Um, all they need to know, all they want to do is to get the body back to Guyana. And uh, for us to provide assistance for them to get back here. As I explained, you know, these people have lost almost everything uh, and, and, and um, it is only reasonable uh, to consider the requests. The BVI has been totally devastated as a result of Irma and to date residents are still struggling to pick up the pieces. My, my concern is for the children, they are vulnerable to disease, there is no running water, there is no electricity. And um, I'm fearful for an outbreak um, of some kind here, and the children would be most vulnerable. And I think that category of life, whether it's Guyanese life or any life, ought to be given uh, immediate consideration. And as I can see on the island, opportunities for employment and earning money is a challenge right now. Minister Felix met with close to 200 Guyanese living in the BVI. However, many more were unable to attend, especially those living on Virgin Guarda, as there is little to no communication on that island. The Guyanese community there wants the APNU AFC government to assist in paving the way for their children to attend school here, given the fact that most of the schools in the BVI have been totally destroyed. However, it is not yet known what action the Guyana government intends to take. Reporting for Newsroom, Fariza Hanif.